Sleep is so important to us. It helps us burn fat, it puts us in more positive bliss states. It even improves our cognition at work. So there are a couple of supplements which I strongly recommend for sleep. The first of course is melatonin. Now don't take melatonin every day. I try to take it two to three times a week. You don't wanna take it every day because then your brain might become dependent on it. So melatonin is something you take when you really need to focus on your sleep because let's say you know you're gonna be getting a little bit less time than you normally need and you have an important project the next day. But there are a couple of supplements you can take on a daily basis with no side effect that are really going to help. The first is magnesium. Now, there are many different types of magnesium. Here's a list from Maria Saab. A magnesium citrate is for IBS and constipation. Magnesium theor... Magnesium... Thri <laughs> magnesium theory... Magnesium threonate is a uh, histamine, mold issues, memory loss, ADHD, autism, epilepsy, and most suited for pregnancy. Magnesium taurate is for anxiety, but the magnesium that you want for sleep is magnesium glycinate. And the best brand of that that I found is Upgrade Magnesium. But there are two other supplements that I absolutely love, which help with sleep. The first of which is 5-HTP. So I take 5-HTP in the morning and it helps you sleep at night. Here's why. 5-HTP helps your body deal with stress. So you have a less stressful day. Now all of this sounds cool, but what is reducing stress in your day got to do with sleep? According to Charlie Morley in his book, Wake Up to Sleep, Studies show that if you are rested during the day, in other words, if you have a meditation practice or if you take a nap after lunch, it helps you sleep better at night. Charlie explains it in this way. You're get, getting your body used to the idea of downtime, of relaxation. And at night, it becomes easier for your body to sink into sleep. So the less stressed you are throughout your day, the better you sleep at night. Now, the next supplement that you may want to take is CBD. CBD is basically an extract from the marijuana plant, but before you freak out, let me just explain this, folks. The chemical in marijuana that gets you high is THC. THC is removed from this. CBD is the chemical in marijuana that makes your body relax. CBD helps your body relax, helps you sleep, and it is a super effective pain reliever. The problem is it's illegal in parts of the world where the government hasn't got their damn act together to understand the difference between CBD and THC. If you're living in a country where CBD is illegal, please petition your government to legalize this. I had a friend who was going through stage four cancer and she really needed CBD to just to help her ease the pain. It wasn't legal in her country. And that saddens me. CBD is powerful. It helps you sleep, it helps you rest, it helps relieve stress, and it's a really useful pain reliever for people who are going through severe pain. And for CBD, the brand I recommend, especially for women, because it also helps with period pains, is Camilla Organics. Now, if all of this supplements confuse you and you want just one supplement to help you sleep, this is the one I would probably recommend, Qualia Night. Many people I know, myself included, say that Qualia Night is a truly amazing sleep supplement. You can take it during the day. You don't have to take it before going to bed, but it contains a stack of different chemicals that actually give your body the right states it needs to sleep soundly. These include vitamin B6, magnesium, reishi mushroom, holy basil, hawthorn leaf and flower extract, go to cola, KSM 66, wild blueberry fruit. It's a long list. Basically, it includes a lot of really good stuff. So all of this may sound complex, but once you understand this, you start to understand how much control you have over sleep. Here's a big warning though. If you are on sleeping pills, I understand the pain, but you need to know this. According to Dr. Michael Bruce, who is America's sleep doctor, he said sleeping pills can be as addictive as heroin. And that is the problem. Sleeping pills do not give you the deep sleep that your body needs. And when you wake up after sleeping pills, there are all sorts of side effects, please Google this, that can really hurt you. And so if you are on sleeping pills, it's super important to work with your doctor and to start reducing your dosage and to understand that sleep is fixable. I've given you a string of tools and advice that I've put together to help me sleep soundly at night. And yes, I have gone through periods in my life where I was hooked on sleeping pills. I will never, ever, ever take sleeping pills again. Once you understand just how much in control you are of your own sleep and how fixable it is, you gain the power to take control of your body, of your brain, of your sleep, and your life can completely change. 
Once you master sleep, it's going to improve your metabolic efficiency. You're going to find yourself burning fat more effectively. If you work out and are trying to build muscle, according to Ben Greenfield, there's only three things you need to focus on, eating lots of protein, lifting high weights, and sleep. If you're looking to perform better at work, getting better sleep will improve your performance at work like nothing else. If you're in a creative field, an entrepreneur, an artist, getting better sleep is going to boost your creativity. So focus on sleep and know that quality sleep is absolutely within your control. If you enjoyed this video, share it with friends.